All right, so we got a headliner to debut today. 95 overall, Justin Upton. He is one of the two headliner cards that are featured in the set. 13 headliners, I think it is. And I gotta say, honestly, I think this Justin Upton looks really good. 94 contact against both sides, 92 power versus righties with 104 against lefties, 74 vision, 75 fielding is okay, it's whatever. The 83 arm strength is pretty nice though, 72 speed, 70 stealing. Overall, this is a pretty balanced card. Like he's gonna be good against both sides, he's gonna be fine in the field, and he's gonna have pretty solid speed. I like pretty much everything about this J-Up card. I don't think this card is necessarily as good as that signature series Adam Jones. I really like that 96 overall Adam Jones, but I think this Justin Upton has a pretty strong card, man. I think everything about him is pretty good. We're going to go ahead and put him in the three spot to try to get him as many ABs as possible. So Willie Mays is going to be batting fifth for us. It's not normally how I'd set the lineup, but I just want to see how many at-bats I can get with him. We moved uh, Tony Gwynn over to left field for this video. Tony Gwynn would definitely be a better right fielder, but Justin Upton, I want to just play him in his natural position. Everything else looks pretty similar. Roberto Alomar at second, Wade Boggs at third, Pudge behind the dish. One thing to know about this video is I did just hit World Series the other day, so this will be my first game playing. If I play a guy who is also in World Series, that will make the game on Legend difficulty, which is probably going to be pretty tough, so I hope I'm still playing our Hall of Fame, but it is what it is. Let's jump into a game. We got the Yankees. That's who we're facing. Are we facing a righty or a lefty? We're facing Nolan Ryan. He's got Kutch and Cal in there, so he's got both of the fourth inning bosses. I should definitely move my face cam down here. Joe Morgan, Frank Thomas, Jose Reyes at short. So he's got... He must have Cal playing third then if he's got Jose Reyes in his lineup. Unless he's got Reyes playing second, but that wouldn't make sense because he's got Joe Morgan. So he's probably got Cal at third base. Nice curveball. Let's go. Andrew McCutcheon. Couldn't pull the trigger, the 83 mile per hour curveball. Got him looking. There we go, sinker on the outside part of the plate. Great location. So far, I'm hitting my spots pretty well with Nolan Ryan. I like what I'm doing so far. There it is, circle change, way out in front. Let's go. Roberto Almar up here with one out in the first inning, facing Nolan Ryan. I can't tell, I think this is legend difficulty. The PCI looks fairly small. Um, but there we go. That's a nice swing to left field. Mike Trout can't get it. That's going to set up Justin Upton with a runner on first and one out. He's got some pretty solid vision. Yeah, this is definitely on legend. Look at that PCI, dude. That is ridiculous. That was right down the middle. What? No. Oh, oh my God. I cannot believe I just popped that up. The, oh, I just, I'm, I'm in shock. I couldn't ask for a better pitch to hit than that fastball I just got. Good pitch, dude. That one is filthy. This is going to be fun, Jet. There we go. Ground ball to second base. Roberto Alomar fields it cleanly. We got a first out. Frank Thomas is down. That's big. <laughs> dude, Nolan Ryan's circle change is honestly ridiculous. The amount of swings and misses you get on people who are out in front is just crazy. There we go. That's a sinker that was not in the best location. That's going to be an easy double. I think that's his created player. Yep. Missed our spot big time right there. Two out double, though. Hopefully, we can just get one more. There we go. Ground ball to first base. Easy play for Josh Bell. We're out of the inning. One hit. Doesn't even hurt us. 3-1 count to the created player. I got to be ready to turn on a fastball here. Oh, I knew it was coming. I was early on it, but I was fouling it off. There we go. Ball four, creative player draws a walk. Sets up Wade Boggs with a guy on first. 3-2 count. Oh, good sinker, dude. That was in such a good spot. I'm not even mad about that. There's Pudge. That one may have enough, boys. Did Pudge just hit a two-run dinger? He did. Just barely out of Mike Trout's reach. We're on the board. Yvonne Pudge Rodriguez with the dinger. Let's go, man. Let's freaking go. Wait, that actually got through? Wait, throw him out at first. Okay, well, Nolan Ryan just got a hit. I find that's happening a lot lately. Let me know in the comments if you've noticed that there's hits getting between the first and second baseman, like, 
a lot more common lately. I don't know what it is. I just feel like I've noticed that a lot more in the past, like, two weeks than the entire first couple months of the game. That's back-to-back -back hits. That ain't good. Okay, well, there goes that. Wow. It was nice to have a lead while it lasted. Three-run home run from Andrew McCutcheon. Look at that sinker, dude. I can't throw that pitch. That's terrible. Bottom of the third, we got Tony Gwynn, Alomar, and then uh, Justin Upton coming up. So he's in the hole, but I got to get something going early. I got to get some base runners for him. We need to get something going against uh, Nolan Ryan. Up the middle? We'll definitely beat that. Yeah, even if that was going to get in the glove of Joe Morgan, we were beating that. Lead off base runner? That's what we need right there. That might have even been ball four as well. These high fastballs lately, man, they have been my kryptonite, and it's not even... Like, I, I don't even have an answer for it. I'm always under it. I got to be better about getting my PCI to the, the top of the zone, man. 2-0. I think I'm going to go hit and run right here. I'm going to change up the flow a little bit. Oh, never mind. That's going to be in the dirt. We're going to easily be in there at second base. We'll take the steal. If I get a high fastball here, 3-0, I'm swinging. I'm going to put my PCI here. All right, it's on the corner. That's a great pitch. All right, 3-1. I'm still going to go high. Well, thank goodness we stole second. God dang it, Upton. Oh, my God. That's going to get down. 89 speed. We're going to tie the game. Wow. little late swing. <laughs> I'll take it, man. That was a 3-2 count as well. Holy smokes. That's Nolan Ryan. I, I just almost hit a home run with Nolan Ryan against Nolan Ryan on Legend. What? <laughs> Two fastballs right in the wheelhouse, and then you throw a circle change down low. Works every time. Okay. One out in the sixth inning. He gets a hit with Cal Ripken Jr. Nice swing on the sinker. He wasn't late. Hit it in the gap. Good hit. Let's get a double play now. Nice, dude. Frank Thomas. Eliminate that bat. We're just one out away from getting out of this little inning. No way he just got a hit on that. Get there, Tony. Throw it to third. All right, he stayed at second. Smart decision. He would have been hosed at third base. There we go. That's what we're looking for. That's what I wanted to get on the Joe Morgan at bat. We'll take it, though. Out of the inning. No damage done. Here's Upton. 0 for 2. Really hasn't done much. Pretty much been a non-factor in this game in his debut. Let's see if he can do anything, and that's going to be another terrible at-bat from Justin Upton. My God, dude, this is like the worst possible scenario for me to debut this card. Legend difficulty against Nolan Ryan, like, Jesus Christ. Nolan Ryan? Dude, Nolan Ryan's a beast at the plate, honestly. He's a freaking good hitter. Two out hit in the seventh. He always goes high fastball to Tony Gwynn. I'm ready for it, and it's going to fall. Man, now I, <laughs> I see what people mean about Legend Difficulty, how these late, weak hits are the only things that fall. That, yo, that might score a run. That's actually going to score a run. We are getting a two-out rally going in, in the seventh inning. Three blue pits. I get what people talk about Legend Difficulty now. All right, Justin Upton, I'm taking all the way. I am not swinging first pitch. Circle change outside. Come on, Upton. If you get that inside fastball, don't miss it. Dude, how many times am I going to pop up with Justin Upton? I'm literally 0 for 4 with Justin Upton, and three of those four outs have been, like, infield pop-ups. I, I, this card is, I, I, it's probably, like, you know, the legend difficulty and stuff, but, like, I, I can't do anything with this card so far. All right, here we go. We got a one-run lead here in the top of the ninth inning. Frank Thomas is leading it off for my opponent. So I think that's his four hitter. Yeah, I think McCutcheon let off the last inning. So four, five, six coming up. Just got to make some solid pitches. That should be the first out. Alomar should have no trouble with this one. Nice, one down. Oh, dude, that's a dot. You can't throw a better pitch than that on two strikes. We just got to get the cap out now. There it is. Ground ball back to the pitcher. Nolan Ryan plants his feet, throws, and we play a game on legend and we actually win. We win. We didn't even go to the bullpen. Neither of us went to the bullpen this game. It was Nolan Ryan versus Nolan Ryan for 17 innings pitched. I struck out eight batters. I allowed six hits, only three earned runs. Pudge with a two-run bomb for me. Alomar with that RBI. Josh Bell with that RBI. 
it was just it just worked out, man. This was a pretty interesting game. Kind of sucks that I didn't get anything going with Justin Upton. You know, I, I just don't really see myself using this card too much more. I mean, like, it wasn't the best scenario to be using him. Maybe I'll give him another go in the next game, the next debut I do, which will probably be that Matt Williams. But man, that Justin Upton was tough. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new to keep up with the rest of the Diamond Dynasty videos. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.